Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll see how we can write a Java program to check if a given number is a tech number. This question appeared in ICSC Computer Applications 2019 paper. So what is a tech number? A tech number has even number of digits. If the number is split into two equal halves, then the square of sum of these halves is equal to the number itself. Well, let's try to understand this with an example. Consider the number 3025. Now, 3025 has even number of digits. It has got four digits. Now, when you divide this number into two equal halves, you get 30 and 25. So you add 30 and 25, you get 55 and you find the square of 55. If you get back the original number, then it's a tech number. Otherwise, it is not a tech number. So that's the concept of tech number. Let's write a Java program to solve this. So here I have created a file tech.java. Let's start with the import statement to import the scanner class. Then we create our class tech, we add the main function. Inside main, we create the scanner object. And we ask for the number. Now, first of all, we have to make sure that this number has even number of digits. That's why we need to count the total number of digits in this number. So I can write int count is equal to string dot value of num dot length. So you can see how in one line we can easily uh, find out the length of the number, the total number of digits of a number. What we are doing here is we are using the string dot value of function to convert the number into a string and then calling the length function of the string object to find the total number of digits for that number. And the result gets stored in this variable count. Now let's check if the number of digits is even or not. If it's not equal to zero, we will print not a tech number and we return from main empty handed. Otherwise, we find the divisor. So we write math.pow 10 comma count by 2. So if it's a four digit number, then count by 2 means 2. So 10 to the power 2 means 100. We'll get the divisor as 100 in that case. And we'll use this number 100 to divide the number into two equal halves. So I can take two parts as A and B. So I will write A is equal to num slash divisor and int B equals num modulus divisor. And then we find the sum of these two values, these two halves. And then we find the square. So square is equal to sum into sum. Now if the original number is same as the square, then it's a tech number.
else not a tech number so our program is complete let's check the output so if i enter 3025 it's a tech number and if i enter 3020 it is not a tech number so that's all in this class i hope you have understood how to write a java program to solve the tech number program thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.